we have division of algebraic fractions. How we do this? We have to use the same rule like for division of fractions. It means we have to copy first algebraic fraction. So it will be n square plus 6n plus 9 over n square minus 9 and now we have to change division sign to multiplication and we have to flip the second algebraic fraction so denominator we go to numerator so n square minus 6n plus 9 over n minus 3 so this is equal now we have multiplication of algebraic fractions so we have to multiply numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. So we have n squared plus 6n plus 9 times n squared minus 6n plus 9 over n squared minus 9 times n minus 3. Next, we can reduce only when we have multiplication and we have the same expression in parentheses. At that moment, we don't have. But let's see to first parentheses. n squared plus 6n plus 9. The square of sum. We can rewrite that this is equal n plus 3 to second power. Let me remind you of this formula. When we have x plus y to second power, this is equal x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. So in our example, x is equal n and y is equal 3. 3 to second power is 9 and 2 times n times 3 give me 6n. Exactly the same what we have inside the first parenthesis and next because we have to we have here negative signs so we have now square of difference let me remind you of this formula when we have x minus y to second power so this is x square minus 2xy plus y square so we can rewrite our second parenthesis that this is n minus 3 to second power. Again, x is equal n and y is equal 3. And now denominator n square minus 9. We can rewrite that this is n square minus 3 square. So we have now difference of two perfect squares x square minus y square this is equal x minus y times x plus y so we will have in the denominator now n minus 3 times n plus 3 and we have to copy n minus 3 so this is equal we have in the denominator n minus 3 times n minus 3. So we have n minus 3 to second power. So we can reduce with the numerator. But maybe I will rewrite this. Let's do step by step. n plus 3 to second power because we have n plus 3 in the denominator. So I will rewrite n plus 3 to second power that this is n plus 3 times n plus 3. And n minus 3 to second power we will copy next we have like I said n minus 3 times n minus 3 so we have n minus 3 to second power and we have to copy n plus 3 next we have multiplication we have the same expressions in parentheses so we can reduce n plus 3 and n plus 3 and n minus 3 to second power we can cancel out so now this is equal n plus 3 over 1 so this is equal n plus 3 when we divide by 1 it doesn't change anything so we have n plus 3 this is my solution